Hello friends, I'm Will Michael with this week's edition of Nature Notes. If someone told you that we have flying squirrels in our community, you'd probably never believe them. But yes, it's true. A hollow tree like the one shown here is a common winter nesting site for flying squirrels. The goal is to observe them as they jump from their nest over to the trunk of this neighboring tree. As the afternoon light dwindles, we catch our first glimpse at this timid squirrel preparing to depart. Finally, it makes a leap, but let's look at that again in slow motion. Flying squirrels have a flap of skin that unfolds off the sides of their bodies when in flight, and their tails are flat like a rudder helping them steer. However, they don't actually fly, but rather glide through the air. For every one foot of vertical descent, they're able to move three feet horizontally, which means jumping from a 50-foot tree could place them 150 feet away. Watch closely as this squirrel launches from the upper branches of this tree. Another reason they're able to hang in the air so long is because they only weigh about three ounces. Their soft fur makes them look heavier than they actually are. During the winter, they nest together in hollow trees. In spring, they build nests in the treetops, similar to the common gray squirrel. They're members of the rodent family that includes animals like mice and chipmunks. If you have a bird feeder in your yard, be on the lookout during the night as flying squirrels often visit them. I'm Will Michael with Nature Notes. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.